However, now we find there's 15,000 new emails that the FBI, FBI wants her to produce. And then this other thing, this bleach bit. She well, used, she didn't decide she to do used that. I mean, a she's software not in. that Trey Gowdy's characterizes it, it, it wiped it so clean, even God couldn't read them. Yes, Trey Gowdy's often good with his words, and Hillary Clinton did not make that decision herself. Her tech staff did. But I, I'm not saying that it looks great. It obviously looks like they went to great lengths to delete them. But to pin that on her, I don't think it's appropriate. And the emails are coming out. Brian Fallon, her spokesman, has said that they want all of the emails out there to show that there was no pay for play. And uh, we'll see what comes out. It's going to be out before the election. Rick, I would think that if my trustworthy, honest and trustworthy numbers were in the tank, like something like the negatives being like 70% or somewhere around there, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want these things that keep coming out. There's more and more. Every week there's another email or Clinton Foundation mini scandal going on. Yeah, look, the emails have already proved that there is pay for play. Jessica is wrong on that. We have lots of evidence. You have to look at Boko Haram, you have to look at Bahrain, you have to look at uranium from uh, Russia. There is already a plethora of information that shows pay for play. The fact that the State Department now has been taken over by partisans, it's a really sad day. I've spent eight years there. I know many good Foreign Service officers who are horrified to see the politics that are being played. The fact that this State Department is delaying justice, delaying transparency till after the election. Let me tell you one thing, if this happened in a foreign country, we would be calling for the, the more transparency, we would be saying the elections are rigged, and we would be condemning this action if it happened anywhere else other, other than America. And now, Jessica, what Rick is pointing out is that the State, the Clinton State Department, uh, Clint, the State Department said that Clinton's full schedule won't be released until after the election day. Now, a federal judge has already said, let's get that schedule out Absolutely, there. Absolutely, and that's the State Department's decision, not Hillary Clinton's. Half of her schedule is already out there. What's else's fault, Jess? You know, it's like, Isn't it's not her, it's her tech uh, no, people's fault. No, and also, while it's we're at it, right, Jessica is not wrong. That it is in pay for play. Peter Schweitzer and Tom Fitton, who have been leading the charge here, have both admitted that there is no smoking gun here. As Hillary Clinton said, there's a lot of smoke, but there's not no fire. I'm not saying that it looks good, and we've discussed this before. I think that what the Washington Post and USA Today talked about in terms of turning the foundation over to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation at this point would not be a bad idea. But I'm just saying you, do, you don't have the evidence that there was pay for play. Can I make one quick point here? This yeah. is the classic Clinton triangulation. What I'm Hillary doing? Clinton held her, Cl Hillary Clinton held her schedule the entire time. She was not on the State Department server. To now say the State Department is the one that should release her calendars, they never had her calendars. They were on a private server. She is the one who can release these. She is the one who is responsible. If she won't release these, she cannot blame anyone else other than Hillary Clinton. She didn't even have a state.gov email address. You know what's you know scary? This you know what's scary? And Rick and Jessica weigh in on this, but she, she shredded with this uh, bleach bit 30,000 emails. We'll, we'll probably never know what's in those, in those emails. But then she didn't tell the FBI about 15,000 She told us she had one phone. Yeah, it, it, we, but, but the FBI had, had to get it. We saw pictures. Let me bring Jessica in here. The FBI had discovered 15,000 emails they didn't previously know about. Is, no. is, is there any transparency to this woman at all? Well, eventually we get there, right? I mean, no, the phone wow. thing, anyway, no, I, I've talked about this before. James Comey was very clear that there were issues, not with her testimony to the FBI, but clearly pointed out that Hillary Clinton had told differing stories. As Rick said, there were multiple devices here. And I was happy to see with Anderson Cooper in her uh, interview yesterday that she finally went to what I'm calling the appropriate apology doctor. And she said, every time I try to explain the emails, it looks like I'm trying to cover something up, so I'm not going to anymore. It was a tremendous mistake mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that first and foremost that the Clinton Foundation hasn't done tremendous good for the world delivering drugs to what well, yeah, yeah, well, that's, that's, that, that, that's they, that false they, that's they, a false choice they, they they partnered partnered with the EpiPen final they, call the Clinton Foundation partnered with the EpiPen maker they said that they shared the same values and that they made him a healthcare partner ethics that are the same. You it's atrocious. I, 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 guys, okay. ran, out, ran out of time, Jessica Rick. Thank you very much. When we come right back, how is Donald Trump gearing up for the all-important presidential debates? Buckle up for Bill O'Reilly's no-spin interview with Trump this week. That's just a couple minutes away.